What is up backyard bass and fans? All right, today we got a short video. Pretty simple deal. Just want to show you guys how I do my treble hooks, like all my square bills and my crankbaits. Um, today we just got a little square bill here. Um, if you guys seen the live stream you know, the night and everything, you probably know. You know, I was talking about I left my box open on my boat overnight, had some dew in it. So naturally my hooks are just rusted and they're getting kind of wore out anyway. So just wanted to kind of go through and show you guys how to do it. It's very, very simple. And guys, get some pliers for doing this. They're split ring pliers. They're very cheap. Um, I think I picked these up at uh, Academy Sports. I think they were like four bucks, maybe five at the most. Um, there are some better ones out there, but you know, just showing you some cheap ones. They work really well. There's no problem at all. They got a little lock on them so they don't come open. But just want to show you guys quick and easy way so all you got to do is take that front split ring and you're gonna it's got a little nipple right here that actually splits that ring and then when you close it it holds it like that so you're just gonna take that little ring you know stick this in there it'll split it apart for you hope you guys can see that good so take that and take your take your split ring or your hook off your split ring and guys, now's a good time to inspect your split rings too. Um, if they're getting a little rusty or if they're they're the ones that naturally come with it and they're not very strong, go ahead, switch them out. You know, get that done now while you're doing this. That way you don't have to worry about it later or bending, bending split rings out later. So get this in there. So like I said, this, this little tool here just makes it a whole lot easier. I've used, you know, regular needle nose pliers several, several times, and it gets very, very aggravating. You'll end up sliding them off there and snapping it loose and everything. That's just how easy it comes off. Now, guys, this is what I use. This is the Mustad hooks. These are a size four. Um, they're the ultra points. They're very, very, very good. Um, I've had no issues with these things. They're very, they're super sticky. Work very, very well. I'll get one out here and show you guys. Well, I might get one out here. Hang on a second here. Make sure you don't stick yourself. So, we'll just pull a new guy out of there real quick. Without sticking ourselves. Take your split ring pliers again and squeeze that little split ring. And then just snap that on there and then rotate that around until it's closed back up and that's all there is to it guys like i said it's very 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 simple it doesn't take a long time then you got a brand new hook on there um guys don't be throwing crankbaits with you know dull hooks or bent out hooks um you're just going to get upset if you got bent out hooks they're going to grab that bent out hook they're going to bend it out straight it's already been bent so it's already weak um, if they're rusted, you know, definitely get rid of them. They're going to end up breaking off anyway. There's not a whole lot of uh, metal there after it starts rusting like that. So, guys, don't take a chance. Just replace them. Um, I think this here, you'll get a pack of six. I think it runs about $5, maybe $6, so you can do three crankbaits with it. Um, it's, it's well worth it. Save you a heartache at the boat when you lose that fish. So, get out there. It's winter time. You can't really do a whole lot of fishing right now, especially if you're like up where I live or up north of here. Um, you're probably froze up most of the way, but get in there, get those changed out, and you guys will have a lot better luck. So we'll see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.